Now let's look at finding the domain and range of exponential growth and decay functions. Well, the first key about exponential growth and decay functions is, is that you need to remember that there's four basic graphical forms of exponential functions. And if the way that we can think about it is that if you have y is equal to a b to the x, if b is greater than 1 and a is positive, then that's an exponential growth function. And it looks something like this, where this number right here is 0, a, and the asymptote is y is equal to 0. So if you notice, the domain of this function is going to be all real numbers. And the range of this function is going to be determined by the asymptote. It's going to be everything bigger than the asymptote. In this case, it's y is greater than 0. Not equal to, because that's why it's an asymptote. Now let's look if b is between 0 and 1, and a is positive then it, that's your classic exponential decay problem. This again is the initial value 0a. The asymptote is still y equals 0, but you come at it from the other direction. And if you know this, it decays. So again, this is just your basic ex exponential growth. And this is exponential decay. And if you look at the domain and range of this problem, the domain here, again, is all real numbers. And the range is y is greater than 0 again. So for exponential growth and decay, in the domain is always all real numbers, and the range is defined by the asymptote. Now, if we take these functions, but now we let, instead of b being greater than 1, and a greater than 0, b is greater than 1, is a is less than 0. It's the same function, but it's flipped. So in this case, the function starts at a, but a is now negative. It increases exponentially, but it's a negative that's increasing exponentially. The asymptote, again, is y equals 0. Again, the domain is all real numbers. The range is still defined by the asymptote, but now it's everything less than the asymptote. y is less than 0. We look at the fourth form when you have b is between 0 and 1, and a is negative. That's an exponential decay problem, but it's an exponential decay problem that starts at a negative number. It declines, the negative declines, goes in the other direction here, so that's the asymptote is y is equal to 0. Here, the domain is all real numbers again, and the range is defined by the asymptote. In this case, it's everything less than the asymptote. So first of all, whenever you ask for domain and range of exponential growth and decay functions, you're going to get the domain right. All real numbers, all real numbers, all real numbers, and all real numbers. And then the range in each case is defined by the asymptote. It's either everything greater than the asymptote or everything less than the asymptote. So I would memorize this graph. And now let's look at a few examples. Let's find the domain and range of y is equal to 10, 1.36, x minus 4, plus 5. So we have to think about which of these four graphs it is. The, the, in a sense, the parent function here, if you want to think of it that way, the parent function is equal to y is equal to 10, 1.36 to the x. That's just your basic exponential growth function. So the domain is going to be all real numbers, and the range is going to be defined by the asymptote. So let's sketch this graph. We know it's basically like this graph, which looks like this, except for it's moved right 4 and up 5. Now the asymptote is unaffected by the 4, right? If you have an asymptote, 
that is a horizontal line, if you move it left and right, it doesn't affect it. It's just when you move it up. So in this case, you're going to have a new asymptote. The asymptote now is going to be y is equal to 4. Now, I, I don't have to use a, a ruler because I'm not really graphing. I'm just sketching it. And then it's going to be an exponential growth function, so it's going to look roughly like this. And that's actually enough to tell us for the domain and range. We know the domain is all real numbers. This is the symbol I use. If you want to spell out all real numbers, you can. I don't think numbers are used, letters are used often enough. And then the domain is all real numbers because it's always all real numbers. And the range is defined by the asymptote. The asymptote's y equals 4, so it's everything above or below depending on the particular problem. In this case, it's everything greater than 4. So it's y is greater than 4. It's not equal to because it's an asymptote. And that's your domain and range of this function. Let's look at one more problem. Let's look at y is equal to 3, 0 0.71, x minus 6, minus 4. The parent function, if you want to call it that, is y is equal to 3, 0 0.71 to the x, Think about our four graphs. Think about which one this one is. This is the exponential decay problem. So that's going to roughly look like this, where the asymptote is y is equal to 0. If we look at this function, y is equal to 3, 0 0.71, x minus 6 plus 4, the asymptote starts out at y equals 0. The 6 doesn't affect it at all, but the 4 does. So the new asymptote is that y is equal to 4. I'm sorry, that's a minus 4. Minus 4, my mistake. So then the new asymptote is y is equal to minus 4. It's exponential decay, so it's going to roughly look like this. We don't know exactly what it looks like, but we really don't care if we only care about domain and range. The domain is all real numbers. Why? Because it's always all real numbers. And the range is going to be defined by the asymptote, in this case, everything that's bigger than minus 4. So y is greater than a minus 4. Just to be careful, let's do one more problem. Let's do y is equal to minus 2, 1.16, x plus 3, plus 2. If we notice here the parent function, is y is equal to minus 2, 1.16 to the x. If we think about our four forms, this would be this one. b is greater than 1 and a is negative, so this is the general shape of the form. The asymptote here starts out at y is equal to 0. Then if we want to graph this, y is equal to 2, 1.16, x plus 3, plus 2. The 3 doesn't affect the asymptote. The 2 does. The asymptote is now positive 2. The asymptote is y is equal to 2. The graph roughly looks like this. The domain in this case is all real numbers. Why? Because it's always all real numbers. The range is defined by the asymptote. In this case, it's everything less than the asymptote. So it's y is less than 2. And that's your answer. And that's domain and range of exponential functions.